Okay. So I've already messed with settings. Stay offline. Is that male or female? Is that what it, that choice is? I guess it is. Why is the male star in armor? Um, we're gonna go with Lucifer. Uh, Temple Knight. Ooh, special. Um, I'm gonna go for the lowest soul level. Oh, that's actually a royalty. That's soul level one. Why is there not like a uh, waste of skin or something? These two are level four. So magic six, thirteen, seven. Hmm. I think I just want to go night, honestly. I can't do this all day, but this, I could <laughs> honestly look at this all day, this is hilarious. Um, there is apparently an option to hide your helmet, so I could look at my face. Uh, some of those looked like they were just the same ones as before, I guess I'm like cycling through randomization, not like preset randomizations, but like close enough, Jesus, I almost want to say yes. I like that mustache a lot. Let's just find like a face that I'm okay with and then I'll edit hair, I guess. I don't know. God, some of these are just so fucking funny. I should probably say something, but I'm so enraptured by what I'm seeing. Oh. Oh, why are they getting progressively... Oh, if I go to the right, it's like normal randomization. If I go to the left, it's like crazy bullshit like this. I like the eyes. Okay, let's just... Uh, sure, age... 20 to... How old can I be? 80. Those are the age ranges. You can't be an adventurer at 19 or 81. Let's say 30, sure. I'll give him some more weight. Uh, let's just say the face is fine. I, I kind of want the thinner. I'm going to change all the hair situation, but the brow, I don't really care about. Uh, I like, there we go. Kind of into that. Ooh, glowies. Uh, ears or whatever, nose, whatever. Oh, let's, let's go to hair. Hmm. 
I think that's just standard, that's fine. Uh, let's go make it some form of purple-ish. Uh, remove the facial hair, can we please? Oh, there's different sections of facial hair. Okay, that, that's looking all right. Some kind of war paints and such. Any that stand out? Skull's okay. I could do skull. I think this is him. I think this is what we're doing. Um, okay, so the I gotta be quiet. By channeling the power of souls brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the Old One, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. Pure of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbane. Skurva the Wanderer. The sixth Saint Astria with her knight, Gal Vinland. And Sage Freak, the visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you to the fissure. Okay. So. I think I'm okay to talk a little bit. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. I've mentioned how many times I've played all the other Dark Souls and stuff. I think Dark Souls 3 is currently my least. No, probably Sekiro. Is my least played. I think I've beaten Dark Souls 3 twice. And I've only beat Sekiro once and I'm like halfway through. Um, but I've only ever played Demon Souls once. I played it all the way through, beat the final boss, got to the cutscene. Uh, I don't... I really don't like... I hate slow rolls. That's better, but I don't have a... I'll just do this for now. What well, can I put my shield back on? No, that's too heavy. 
Okay. Why am I still slow? Wasn't it fast as I am? It's like, cause it, it's cause the helmet, isn't it? Um, is there a jump button? Or is it... No, can you jump in this game? I cannot. Because I never actually played this version. This is my first time seeing this. It looks great, honestly. Like, way better than it did. The, uh, 2009 version. And I played that in, like, 2019 or something. Like, way after it came out. Anyways, I played it on the PS3. Um, I did pretty okay. There's some areas that are a little rough. I do not know if they changed anything. I know they made a massive uh, improvement to coloration stuff because this was meant for PS5. I don't think it came to PS4 in any way. Uh, and it was like $80 or something. And people were like, this is a 10 year old game. Why is it more? Uh, so th I didn't buy it because I agree with that. As great as it looks, I wasn't going to spend $80 on it. Uh. Oh, that's definitely not something I remember. Uh, I remember very little of this. It's been a few years, and like I said, I only played it once. So if anything has changed or new aside from graphics, I'm not going to remember. Like, genuinely, this is going to be a fresh experience for me, like, in total. Uh, I assume all the bosses are the same and stuff. Even as far as mechanics go, I'm sure. Oh, goodness, I don't remember that. Oh, do I remember? Because... Similar to Dark Souls 1, you... I'm pretty sure at some point, fight... I can't remember what its name is. It's a big fat thing... That just absolutely wrecks you the first time you fight it. Similar to Dark Souls 1's Asylum Demon. And then, like, later on in the game, you find it, or one like it, and you whoop its ass. you can just never get hit. I feel like I'm saying that too soon and I'm gonna get hit now. <laughs> this bitch would put a shield down. Backstabs in this game? Can I... Oh, okay, there we go. Two-hand it. Pretty sure I'm gonna remember most of the things, unless they added certain mechanics, which I'm pretty sure the vault over is new. But for anyone who doesn't know, I don't know why I need to go over the history or feel the need to go over the history. Uh, before Dark Souls, before Bloodborne, before Elden Ring, there was nothing and then there was this idea to make demon souls and it from what i understand was like a project that they had given up on or something like 
they were basically very pessimistic about how sales would be and what it would be and everything. So it basically got them in this idea of, well, if it's going to fail anyway, we can just do whatever the hell we want. So they kind of did that, and I realized I took a hit, stupidly. I may be getting the story wrong, because I don't remember where I read it. Uh, but they tried a lot of new weird things and stuff. And I think it was still pretty not a great in sales, but reviews were like great throughout, mostly, maybe? I don't know. I think it was something like Shadow of the Colossus, or maybe I'm just thinking of Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, here it is. God, you look outstanding. Can I beat you, though? I highly doubt it. So I don't even know if you can technically beat it like Asylum Demon. You technically can, if you time things right and everything. But this is going to take a while, so I might be better off dying. But I really would like to do it if I can. Oh, you hit me with that? Fuck. I got him a third of the way at least, almost half. But now that we've died, we go to the Nexus. This game is Firelink, Round Table, Hunter's Dream. And whatever it's called in uh, Sekiro. So the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. So we are yet again an undying creature person. This is the Nexus. However, there is a ca caveat to uh, dying. You cannot escape the Nexus. How about capturing Demon Soul or something? Uh, this is. Well, you slipped through the fissure. Oh, they have like a whole animation thing. You came for Demon Souls. Or to save this land. Weird. They've kid. never done this before. Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. There's a that whole cutscene. Came, is it not? To this this game does look outstanding, I gotta say. Uh, where is my maiden in black? I gotta relearn everything about this game. <laughs> I need to get my strength up or my endurance or whatever so I can equip more. Is it the same situation as before? I think so, that one being broken. Because there's five, and the sixth one was supposed to be like another place, but they didn't have time to finish it in the game, so they just cut it out. I think? I could be wrong. Um, but in this game... Oh, this guy is the one I was thinking of. He's the one who holds all your stuff. I don't remember who this guy is. Thought he was him. Uh, in this game, your deaths... In other games, they have some meaning, but this one, I think, more than any of them. Oh, it, it shows all the things. These are all the... Okay. Um, I need to say what I'm trying to say. Uh, the more you die, the worse, like, your world state becomes, and it leads to, I think, a darker ending? 
I don't remember if there's different endings. I think there might be two endings in this game, but I cannot remember. But also, it increases the difficulty. So the more you die, the harder the game gets. Which makes you die more. Which is really a fuck you. But I like it, honestly. I don't think I died that many times. I definitely died quite a few, but not like an obscene amount when I first and only time played this. But we'll see how this goes. I'm Stockpile Thomas. Stockpile Thomas, that's right. When my wife and daughter fell. God, I look cool. I, I have to... To the demons. Like, look how cool I am. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. He really... I would be happy to lighten your load. His teeth. Look after any excess baggage. So, when you could not hold all the things, you put them here and they were storage. The one thing I think about this game was that this is the Estus Flask. These crescent moon grasses and half moon grasses. This restores like a quarter because it's a crescent moon and this restores like half your health, I think. I could be wrong about that. Uh, do I have that ring equipped? I do. Good. But you didn't have like a limited amount. If as long as you could buy the grasses, you could hold on so many heals. The name's Baldwin. It's simple. In trade with your souls, I can. Yeah, you can upgrade your weapons with him. Purchase item. Okay. Just buy one of those for funsies. I know in uh, the other games, like if you die in Dark Souls 1, you become hollow, but that's. It doesn't really do much in that game. In the second Dark Souls, it like progresses and makes you. Okay. It gets you like lower health each time and lowers your max health. In Dark Souls. Three, there is like a thing for it. There's your or your, I don't remember his name. I didn't do it because that's a specific ending. And the more you die, you can get like levels out of it for dying more or something. There's like a whole ending, and that's like the Dark Lord ending. And it's hard to get or something. Uh, in Sekiro, people start getting sick, and you have to like cure them with royal dragon blood or something I don't think there is a death thing for Elden Ring but then again I didn't look it up because it was so new in spoilers and I know there's definitely there's nothing like that in Bloodborne Ugh, just like the neck thing Ugh. It has a little, like, fleshy bits, like, dangling from you. I'm curious if they changed the f dragon fight. I don't remember if it's that dragon or if it's another one. But it was literally like you could not physically fight the dragon in melee. You could only shoot it with a bow as it, like, flew around. And it was, like, the most time-consuming bullshit ever. I think... I'm remembering that right. I could be wrong. Oh, that's just rude. Oh, ow.
meanwhile, while I'm doing this, in my personal life, I did finish my D&D uh, &D campaign. I absolutely slaughtered them finally, it took them forever, but I was like, can we just push through y'all at the final fight of this dungeon? I did not tell them my plan was to legitimately kill them, regardless of anything I wanted. Which is really uncool of me as a DM, because your choices and stuff are supposed to matter in d and I was just like, we need to end this, I'm tired of it. I think y'all are getting tired of it. You know what, let me put my armor on. I won't roll anymore. But I will see how we do real quick. Okay, so I do get parry still. We'll see how being armored goes, at least until I can upgrade my endurance to survive. Or so that I can actually roll properly with this shit. Okay, that's much less damage. Than this. Uh, oh, ooh. I'm fucking charcoal. Uh, and they asked if I would like, run another session, or if I would play as a player, and I just don't think I mentally can. <laughs> so I'm probably not going to have D&D &D anymore, which should free me up a bit to do other things. Hopefully record more. If I ever choose to. Uh, but also... Aside from just having sessions, I would also spend like an hour or two every day just absentmindedly thinking about the session coming up and what I wanted to do. So just a daily average of an hour of my life I'll get back. I forgot. I'm, I'm not supposed to roll. It's a very bad idea for me. Also, the new... <laughs> Not that it matters, because I don't record it anymore. But the new season of Apex came out. And I haven't played as Vantage. I unlocked her immediately. But I just haven't liked being any other character aside from Valkyrie or Ash. Since Ash came out. <laughs> well, since Valkyrie came out, I only played Valkyrie. And then Ash came out, and I was like, I guess I'll play Ash a little bit. Oh, that's how that opens. I was wondering how I get this. Fuck your ball. Uh, so I've been playing a lot of Apex just because it's back to King's Canyon and they changed a few things about it, and I don't know, I like it. I do have to say, though, uh, Storm's Point, the island, is probably my favorite map now. Or at least since it came out. King's Canyon being second. Uh, Olympus is absolutely my least favorite and has been since it came out. Like, I just don't like it for whatever reason. And yet yeah, I play every season of Apex. And always get the max level bow. Well, that's not true. I always get the level 100 bow pass, which is the usual max. But they have like a level 110 that you can get just for an extra whatever. It doesn't give you anything, even cosmetic. Well, I think it gives you a little cosmetic thing. Oh, yeah, I remember this area. This guy's fucking hard. I remember this shit. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, I want to backstab. So there's only like two or three seasons of Apex. I haven't gotten the level 110 thing on. Okay, against him because I can block. And this actually blocks all physical damage with this shield. So that's good. Having a shield that doesn't block all physical damage is just a waste. Oh, that was that was a mistake on my part. God, he just fucking one stab, and that was it for me. Uh, beyond him is, I believe it's just an NPC, but it can be an optional boss. I think? Because I didn't actually fight him. I don't remember his name. But he's like an NPC you meet. And then I looked at the trophies at one point after I beat the game. And you apparently could fight him if you choose or something, or if you attack him. And he becomes a mini boss for some set. I'll get fucked. Oh yeah, how do I make myself have more than half health? Because that would be good. I think I probably need to kill the first boss. That's probably how you do it, but I cannot for the life of me remember if it's an item or what. Uh, I don't want to deal with all of the basic bitches. God, well, I need to keep my hand off circle unless it's to run. Dodging is not worth it. Someone's gonna come up behind me, I just know it. You don't have your ball anymore. It also feels like they varied up the attack patterns and like how you do combat. I'm not smart enough to figure it out, but it feels like something is different. Should really stop letting that guy just wail on me. <sighs> I don't know if I can kill this guy. Can I run by him? I really feel like that should have been a backstab. Maybe there's like a special way I'm not hitting the button or something in order to backstab. I'm pretty sure it's a hold R1 when you're directly behind them. Maybe it's just press. Definitely not R2. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I really should just run away. Really. That was a bad idea. Okay, well. That's two deaths to this dude. We are going to take this off. So that I can roll by all the fire bitches. I will use the shield in case I see an attack coming. I can parry, but I don't know if I want to deal with that. We're not going to fight him. That's an optional thing, and you can just come back to this later. I don't know if I can even access that door. I just don't want to go for opening it, and then he just stabs me. I'm pretty sure I'd be invulnerable while opening the door, just in case. Another 
are so aggressive. Sorry, I need you to get out of the way. I am down for this shield, though. I do not use shields, usually. As we'll come to find out, I'm going to go guts in this one again, because there is the big-ass fucking sword. So we're going to make a... <laughs> That's just what you do in these games. You make a strength build, you find the biggest fucking weapon you can, and you two-hand it. Or an Elden Ring. <laughs> You one hand two different gigantic swords that no physical human could ever lift one of, much less one in each hand. That's what you do. That's how you win. Okay, this is this nonsense. I'm really gonna run out of the grasses at this rate. God fucking Ugh. Why do I bother? It's just gonna be the death of me. So I gotta circle around you. Oh no No, what the fuck? Was I just out of stamina from running? Oh my god, I fucked all that up. Okay, well. This has been... Garbage. I did so bad here. Settings. Uh, show helmet. Yep, I'm going to hide my shame. And we are going to wear the helmet. I'm now going to make the run again. But this time I'm not going to the red face man. I just wanted my things back. I wasn't even gonna fight him. I just wanted to leave with my stuff. Which is genuinely pointless, because it was only like, what, 600? To buy myself four crescent moon grasses, whatever. And I've used like 10 since I've been here. Not making any progress. <sighs> oh, wait. Poor showing on my part, I do apologize. I'm just being foolish. Also, I haven't played a game like this since Elden Ring. Like, I played a little bit after I finished recordings and stuff. I haven't beaten it a second time yet. Uh, this is a blue face one. I can, I can beat a blue face. Look at that, backstabbed his hat. I can beat a blue face. There we go. Easiest thing in the world. It's the red face that's gonna give me problems forever. Uh, do I need to go through the fog or do I need to go through here? I can't break these. Also, that hole that has that weird lighting thing, I'm pretty sure I would survive that. I'm pretty sure that's just like an item thing down there. But I am extremely hesitant to do so. Well, I'm glad he did that for me. This opens the back entrance, doesn't it? I think that's right. Wait, aha. You do that, and you drop a uh, item. Yeah. 
You drop a body that contains an item, but yeah. So maybe this is the quick way down? Maybe it's not. Wonderful. Okay, yeah, this is a quick. I thought it was the other side, though, for some reason. But that's probably through that frog gate, if I had to guess. Stop catching me on fire, goodness. Now I can grab these items that I dropped down. Oop. Ornament. Oh, isn't that. If I recall correctly, I want to get away from the enemies before I look at items. Uh, I should probably stand away from the explosive barrels also, just in case. Nope, not that. Uh, this. Can I in any way look at it? Ah, triangle. Nope, triangle doesn't do anything. Can I not, is there not like a description? Ah, square. Oh, does it not have more than that? I'm pretty sure that was his wife and daughter strung up there. Uh, the storage man. I can't remember his name. I'm pretty sure that those two bodies were the family he mentioned when we spoke with him. I think I also skipped that dialogue by accident. Oopsies. Uh, but his family's dead. I'm pretty sure I just found the bodies. So yeah, it's a hard life here. I don't think I'm going to actually be able to beat the first boss, which I'm pretty sure is Phalanx. I just don't think I have enough time. I'll get the shortcut and I'll probably be close to getting to him. I don't think I'll actually end up getting that fight today. Unless I do recording after this, but I don't think I should. I think I should do something else. Oh, can I vault one of these? Well, this isn't fair. You're supposed to be dead. Okay, doing great. It's all going so well. I must fell. Careful. I still don't remember how long it takes to actually get to Phalanx. I thought it would. No, because I don't know. You have to like do a whole runaround thing and open his gate. I don't remember where that is, but I definitely remember the cutscene where you open the big gate in the center and then a giant spear comes flying it might not be giant, it might just be normal size it just throws a spear out and you're like oh shit, it's coming out but it doesn't it just sit there it's uh basically the same thing, it's a boss version of the thing in Dark Souls 1 in uh the painted world of Priscilla. It's the, basically the same thing. Uh, boop. 
I know there's probably secrets and stuff I'm missing. I think I do remember this. There's a giant ball, isn't there? Or a giant flaming thing. Okay. There's something here I remember. Oh, there's a dragon. where I was thinking of the balls. Okay. I knew I was thinking of something. Could not remember what though. Okay. to me. Uh, I would like to have y'all one at a time if I could. But I'm not going to be that lucky when I... I feel like y'all's fire should hit each other. Just saying. I don't get how you can be mid-swing and then go for a block. Angle myself around. Now you come back up here and then we can do a run around and just backstab you. Assuming there's no one else here. Okay, good. Well, you're not getting stabbed in the back now, are you? There you go. There you go. Just like you're supposed to. Nope. Don't want to miss this item. Uh, I don't want to go up here because I'm pretty sure the dragon does a breathy thing there. Okay. Is this the way? I'm pretty sure someone's going to jump out at me. No? That's surprising. Ah! Red and blue dragons. I'm not gonna go that way. That's the dragon way, I guess. I could have sworn maybe it's going to when I get out on the bridge enough. But I'm pretty sure this is giving me Dark Souls 1 vibes. That if you run to this bridge. Yep, there it is. What are you doing? Did he get rid of them? Some of them? Any of them? It doesn't look like it did much of anything. Okay, it's coming back. You gonna do something? Or do I have to be on the bridge? I don't know. I think I do need to be on the bridge, but I'm like baiting it and it's not going for me. to get hit by that dragon because that's gonna be an instant kill. Like, I know it will be. I just didn't see another path. Maybe there was earlier on. 
Something I could have vaulted or some such. It really just is not coming. I just r I should just run across. Can I do anything? There it is. Mm, I'm afraid to move. I'm gonna die. Oh, just fucking. Oh no, it's gonna come again. Oh no, run away, run away, run away. Okay. Okay, so if it actually does it, it, become, it begins a looping thing. Okay, gone. Everyone should be... No, how are you alive? This is really greedy. I need to go. <sighs> is this the one? It's a cutscene, so I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah, this is it. I have now unlocked the Phalanx boss. I will start the next recording with it. <laughs> I was right. No time for that. Gotta get back to the Archstone. Hopefully... I don't know if I should level up or buy... Crescent Moon Grasses. Probably should level up. Because I'm finding Crescent Moon Grasses. You can't find levels. You can only... Oh, did I parry him by accident? I hit R2 by accident, and it made a weird noise, so I think I parried him. Okay, how does parry work? There it is. Okay, I see. Ooh. I shouldn't just be trying it recklessly on like this. Losing a lot of health. Oh, hello. You don't shield as much as the spear boys do, so I can just wail on you. Good for you. Part of the phalanx. This gets you a small understanding of what it's like to fight it. I have to fight like 30 at once though. But once you get behind it, you do massive damage on it. Uh, also, fire bombs and such work really well on them because they do an explosive area of effect so you can hit the entire thing around the shield so the defense doesn't really work for them but like I said there are 30 of them so if I'm not using fire and AoE stuff it's gonna be rough they do also throw them like that. Hard stone shards. Is 
that like the uh, weapon upgrade material? I don't remember what all the items are. <sighs> and this is the other side opening. This is what I thought that door over there was. Yeah, it is a pretty fucking big fear. No, I probably could have fought it if I didn't go fight the dude in red three times and die. If I'd either beat him the first time or just not gone to try and deal with him at all. We might have been known Phalanx, but I'm pretty sure Phalanx is easier than that guy. Uh, I'm gonna leave y'all and we're gonna go back to the uh, Nexus. And that's where I'll end the uh, recording. And then some other time, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. I don't know. I will play again. Nexus. How much is it for a level right now? And can I even level up, or do I have to beat the first boss? Because I don't see her anywhere. I'm pretty sure she moves around. She's not, like, just static. Like, sometimes she'll be sitting here, or she'll be in the center. I think that's right, but I can't. I cannot remember for the life of me. But I definitely don't see her anywhere, obviously, in the immediate vicinity. Ah! Jesus Christ, my phone is loud. Oh, God. Genuinely scared me. Uh, I guess I'll buy oh, the grasses. Just because I can't level up right now. Apparently, I'm assuming. Can I sell items? Hmm. Just the armor, because I'm broke now. Do come back alive. I would and be then happy to deposit some things with you. Next seal binding. Don't know what that does. Pine resin fire bombs. I probably need those. Those souls can stay here. Don't think I'm going to use these. 